Hey, it's Nintendo Sony Free 2011 here in Game Mania. We're reading you guys the rest of the international channel. I mean, Twitter, Brighty, and Britchu, Odyssey, and all the other platforms you guys can think of. Just in case anything bad happens to the channel, of course. And of course, Instagram, too, and Twitter. Oh, wow. <clears throat> Sony broke some Time Magazine, like, Wall Street Journal records in this bitch, man, honestly. Big time. We definitely did it big time. But anyways... Pretty interesting ass news. PS5 sold an estimated 2.1 to 2.5 million units worldwide in launch. So, before I begin, I'm going to be um, doing a reaction. Hopefully, I do a reaction review segment video to this Pokemon Sword and Shield DLC. Now, I haven't seen this chick in a year and a half, two years. My girl Lucy, Candy Evie, is still here. She's on Twitch now. So, I guess she's a lot more active on Twitch and Instagram now, unfortunately. So, she barely even does. Look at this. Once every three or four or five months, she just does her tw two videos every two months now. So she's been really inactive, man. But that's okay. She wants to do Twitch more, and I, I respect her for that. I'm not trying to be a simp or be a beta, want to be SJW male. I'm just freaking saying. She's still got a lot of respect for Lucy. Candy Eve, she's still a badass, man. Anyways, this comes from Willie D'Angelo from, um, I never heard of this one, VG Charts. I've heard of Tweak Town a few times. PS5 DualSense is shift stick, Joy-Con drift. They're, they're getting now. Thank God. This is what I told you. For the past four or five months, I said, don't get a PlayStation 5 on release date because it's going to have a bunch of bugs, errors, glitches, exploits, a shitload of problems with it. Same with the Xbox Series X, Microsoft, too, and the S version. I'm telling you, Gil Bates will do anything for that money. It's Phil Spencer, too. Just corporate puppets of the media. And I don't give a shit if Reggie Fieselman is going to talk at the... Video Game Awards, as funny and hilarious as it's going to be, because tomorrow, I think Monday or Tuesday, I'll still watch it. I'm just not going to worship these people like I did for the past six, seven years. I'm not going to be a blind Nintendo or Sony fanboy, that shit either, because I'm just corporate organized puppets. That's all they are, CEO, CFOs. I don't care about the money, sadly. As much as I love to be a Nintendo fan and Sony fan, as I still love being, i got to be critical of them, my boy Vitek USA has to respond with. So, Will and DeAngelo says, um, yeah. 2.1 to 2.5 million. I heard in Australia and Japan is a lot more harder to get their hands on it over there. From according to sources, I heard in New Zealand it's like literally impossible to get anything there for Sony PS5. And there's literally all, not till next year, probably May or June for me or July at the latest. I'll get a PlayStation 5 right now. I ain't getting it. So Sony launched this generational generational console, the PlayStation 5, with a staggering release earlier this year for I have some Call of Duty news. I'll leave that for a separate video. And this heard they're breaking the PS5 and Xbox Series S. I'm not sure if that's true, but I'll get to that in a separate video. Console launched first in North America, Japan, Australia, New Zealand, Singapore, and South Korea on November 12th, following by Europe and the rest of the world a week later. Hopefully, I'm going to do a third part on this. I'm going to have to do two third parts. I hope to God I don't. Based on the preliminary <coughs> excuse me, data of VGSC charts, estimated the PS5 will be estimated 2.1 2.5 million units around the world. Why? So you can combine the two launches. Is that the $499, $500? PS5 proved to be far more popular than the $399 digital edition. The 75% total of estimated sales. Oh my god. Let me read the most of this here. On November 12, 2020, which is this year, last month, PlayStation 5 sold between an estimated 1.3 and 1.6 million units across U.S., Canada, Mexico, Japan, Australia, New Zealand, Australia. I don't know about Singapore or South Korea, because I heard that it was pretty easy to get there, but... It might be a lot more harder now, because this is a month ago. Shit changes very, very fast within a month. Let's continue. Breaking November 12th sales further down, the PS5 in the U.S. sold between 1.0 and 1.2 million units in Canada. Okay, the Canadian, shout out to all you beautiful Canucks out there in Canada land. So I used to live in Toronto, Ontario, Montreal. It's beautiful out there, man. You know, 17 years ago, it was a beautiful ass area, Lake Ocean. The people were nice. Not all of them, but some were cool. In Canada... Sold at least between 95,000 and 110,000 units. It's funny because two, three weeks ago I talked about the Toronto thing. A lot of people were scalpers that were stealing and breaking and robbing people with the PS5. It was only like a week or two ago I talked about it. Fast forward almost three weeks later, it's still getting harder. Now let's continue. 65, 75,000 units. In Oceania, Australia, New Zealand combined. The PS5 sold between 45 and 60K units. Japan sold, whoa, 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 whoa. not surprised because it's their headquarters, Sony Japan, obviously. I think the one in Santa Monica, St. Clarita in California, that's the Sony headquarters over here in the U.S. In Japan, the PS5 sold between 115, 120,000 units. Guys, if all the Japanese, like, 
Sony players out there are listening. Konnichiwa-san, you know, arigato gozaimasu. That's the one thing I know in Japanese. <laughs> you guys are awesome as heck, man. So many players are epic as hell. And I know not all of them are Asian Japanese. I know there's a few white foreigners and black foreigners live in Japan. I think it's mainly, mainly in Ghana. And I think I'm probably saying that wrong. Kyoto and um, Tokyo is the three biggest cities. I'm possibly wrong in geography. I'd be really huffed up there. Let's continue. And that's a lot of the foreigners live out, the ones that come from the European U.S. I think a lot of them live in Kyoto and Tokyo. But let's continue on. 900, 800K and 900K units across Europe and the rest of the world. Majority of sales for the November 19th launch in Europe. Between 600 and 800K units were sold. Breaking Europe launches day for solar cell down. Wow. The PS5 between 230,000 in the UK and 280K. In France, sales were between 105K and 125K. While Germany, they were best to believe 115, 140K. They were less than the UK and France. Wow, Germany, what's going on over there, man? If I have any German or Russian um, viewers out there, let me know what's up. Maybe because it's a lot more extra cold with the snow out there and they were hard to deliver over there in Germany. I don't know, maybe in Amsterdam it was a lot more hard because there was a lot of traffic over there. The holiday season shopping, I don't know if they do the Black Friday shit over there too, like they're here to you and us. Of course, the fake plan, I'm a scam, them, the fake COVID crap going on, it's canceled. And the same with New Year's Eve, too. Let's move on. VG charts. That's the only excuse I could think of over there. I don't know how Europe's lifestyle is. I'm an America citizen. But let's continue. This month released, estimated for the Xbox Series X and S, the next two generations consoles for Microsoft between the estimated 1.1.4 <laughs> and saying they always fail in Japan. I don't know what it is at um, Kyoto and Tokyo, Japan. They really don't like Xbox out there. That's more geared to American, Canadian, European audience, I guess. Okay. Worldwide units in the first 24 hours. Look, overall thoughts, views, and opinions. Sony's breaking them with these records, man. Look at that. 2.5 million units sold, bro. And this was like four days ago when this happened. I got this from VG Charts. So I'll leave the link down below. And uh, yeah, that's all I got to say about that. And let's get on to the next article. <laughs> This is real sad for you, Joy-Con Drift people. Man, I had a little Joy-Con Drift, so I had to get, like, on my fourth and my fifth batch of Joy-Con boy, um, freaking, um, <laughs> Wemo controls. And then I got a Nintendo Classic one, too. Thank God. Video game controller is a lot more easier to use. I haven't had no Joy-Con Drift at all with that thing. My fourth pair of, um, Joy-Con sticks, I didn't have no issues. The first three I did, and that's it's 200 bucks I had to spend all together while I was fucking Joy-Con sticks and sucked with the ps5 dual sense though i think they're like 50 60 dollars and they're like 40 dollars and they're almost 60 that's insane that the scalpers are making the joy con the dual sense controls joystick drift that's what they're calling it now this comes from derek stickland is your ps5 dual sense stick drifting these methods won't fix it it's a little bit of a long article i'll leave the link down below if you don't want to hear me read it but here it is our dual sense controllers are now affected with the stick for three weeks of play, we do not know how to fix it, but we can confirm. This was literally the other day. This is super recent. Man. Confirm that these internet fixes don't actually work. The PlayStation 5, aka PS5, DualSense control is really, really a game changer when it works. And the haptic feedback advance, rumble, and the new adapted triggers are really, okay, the adapted triggers really add a new level of, level of immersiveness, like I said for the past eight, nine years, immersion. None of this matters in your sticks to drift. You can simply play a PS5 game while you're fighting on camera in the entire time. And the DualShock 4 isn't usable. With the PS5 game, so you're left with two options. Send a controller into Sony for repairs or buy another $50, $60. From what I heard, I'm not sure. Because I checked Walmart and Target a month ago. It was like $45, $47 with tax. So $48. Bucks. Uh, um, let's continue. Lots of other people are reporting the dual sun stick drift. Stick drift problems, that's what they're calling it now. And we're one of them. Our dual sense right stick has been st started to severely drift. That's really bad. I feel bad for the people that spend 50 something dollars on those dual sense PS5 because those things are beautiful. I hope they come in silver and black because I will totally buy it. But let's continue. That's not a Raiders reference either, the NFL Vegas Raiders. <laughs> I mean, I live over here in Vegas, but I don't care. No offense to anyone that's an NFL Las Vegas Raiders fan in football. I just don't give a crap. I'm sorry. 
You can love your games in football too, I'm just saying. But let's continue. Causing most of the games as unplayable. Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Black Ops Cold War, and even Spider-Man's Miles Morales are turned into exercising a frustration. Real bad frustration. I can feel that from this article. The online tips simply don't work. Resetting your controller manual by poking it with a safety pin doesn't work. I haven't heard of that. Turning the Bluetooth on and on on a PS5 console doesn't work. Cleaning it doesn't work. I've tried to wipe, tried with the wipes and can to no avail. Ah, that's feel bad for these dudes doing this shit. These DIYs and life hacks to fix your PS4, PS5 DualSense control. I feel bad for you dudes, big time. And women too. So as far as I can tell, the controller just ulti and needs to be repaired by Sony themselves. There's no new firmware update it to the controller. I did try out that route. This is annoying, and this is the only thing I have used in the DualSense when playing the PS5 game. I use the controller to somewhat sparingly, 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 I ever say that. On all the menus, navigation consoles, and the UI testing I've done with the keyboard with the DualShock 4. This really isn't a surprise to the DualSense. It uses the same analog set that the PS4 DualShock Force to stick drift as a definition. I had that on my PS4 Pro. I had a few problems with that before. The, the stick drift. A DualShock 4 stick drift. It was a bitch. I had to spend like $50, $70 on a new one. I remember this. This was like two years ago in 2018. I wish I would have told you guys before that. So stick drift is definitely a possibility. So if you use DualSense to start a drift, don't hold out much hope. It's more than likely broken. Let's hope some of the Tronics fix people can help down the line over here. And here's more of our PS5 coverage and soon some tips regarding our save files. Okay. Anyways, yeah, so overall thoughts, using things, that, that, that's really, really sad. Hopefully, if any people get the rebate, you get the receipts for your original PS4 or PS5 DualSense video game controllers and they have stick drift problems or stick drift shifting issues, it's going to be very problematic. So please, if I were you, I would get that the receipt. I did get a DualSense controller myself. I didn't open it. I'm going to wait till all the way May or June next year to open it. And maybe I'll show it to you because that's super cheap. I got it when it was 40 bucks or $45. Thank God. Shout out to Derek Strickler for making this thing. Is this stick drift is going to piss off a lot of people, man. And some people are going to just throw them on the floor and just go and rage and fanboy really, really badly. They're going to have one of the most enraged, evil, effed up moments of history. And they'll probably just do those old, like, Fruit of the Loom hangout videos, clickbait shit. Like, freaking the dudes when they used to break the PS3, PS4s, and they were late seven, eight years later, or seven, eight hours in line. And it would just break them into pieces. I remember old, like, clickbaity videos like that. <laughs> I'll see if I leave one down below. This dude got in big trouble two weeks ago doing that for the PS5. He's putting mayonnaise and trying to put a fake drill in it. Like, and he tried to give it back to GameStop. Well, what the hell's wrong with this dude? I might do a reaction. That was funny. He's like, wow. But it was a bitch, too. Those things are like one, two thousand dollars is the way scalpers are making it big. It's evil. F scalpers. They should be in prison and prison, jail, and penitentiary system. She get raped up the butt and just like. <laughs> That's all I can say, and I'm done here. Links to both of these articles down below. You got a faulty dual sense of stick drift problems and broken. It's a broken PS5 dual sense. Get your money back, hey, so. Peace out once again, ladies and gentlemen, fanboys and fangirls, and talkers and YouTube modis. See you when I see you guys today and tonight, wherever you're on the universe out there. See if you want to channel, we're going to be doing mainstreams and mummies and streams. That's it. And on Twitch, Trish, Eve John Moves. Peace out, my sour cart, ladies and gentlemen, see you on the flip side. Oh, check this OnlyFans check out. Leave her Instagram down below. Her name's Tessa Flowers. Beautiful ass chick. I may send for her next year. Peace.